being strong looks like tears. It looks like being vulnerable about how you're really doing. It looks like crying into the pizza dough when you need to cry into the pizza dough. (laughs) And strength just looks different than I thought it did. And this has shown me that I need to leave space for grief. Hey, I'm Jody, And I'm Chris. And we are Loving Loving the the Outcome. Outcome. Welcome to our podcast. We're a husband and wife who rock out together. We're parents of Milo and Ziggy. And we're following Jesus as best we can. Our story began in Winnipeg, Manitoba, where we fell in love, got married, and decided to sell everything and travel in our Jetta, selling CDs out of the trunk of our car. The road led us to Nashville, where we signed a record deal, started our family, and now the four of us travel together in our minibus, White Neptune. I know, crazy, right? Our life is a road trip. And we want to invite you into it. So come along for the ride as we chat with some of our favorite people about family, spirituality, wellness, and of course, music. Come on, let's go. This podcast is brought to you by Hope and Healing International. For $30 a month, $1 a day, you can sponsor a life-changing surgery for a little boy or girl living in Africa. We're talking about club feet, cleft palates, going from blindness to sight. In one year, you can literally send a healing hug and change a child's life. If you'd like more information, go check out the website at lovehealinghugs.com and you can see video of our buddy Bernard. This is my son, Bernard. He wants so much to be and play like the other children, but he can't. Instead, he suffers every day. As a father, I would do anything for my son. I love him, but sometimes this is not enough. They say they can heal my boy. I told them I work hard, but I have no money to pay for it. They told me someone in Canada is paying, paying to heal my son. For over 100 years, Hope and Healing International has helped break the cycle of poverty and disability for thousands of children in the poorest communities. But we can't do it alone. For $30 a month, you will directly fund the surgeries, medical care, and rehabilitation for a child who would otherwise go untreated. A child just like Bernard. We will send you a picture of every child you help, their treatment plans, and progress reports. And each child we treat on your behalf will receive this bear to hug on their journey ahead. All you have to do is go online or call now. It's that simple. Thank you for making my son smile again. Hey friends. I wanted to go on a walk and just unedited share where we're at since our family was flooded out two weeks ago and evacuated our home. We haven't really had a chance to let you know how we're doing and what our life looks like right now. So this is completely unplanned and unscripted. I'm walking down the street and just sharing my heart and my thoughts and uh, thanks for listening. It's been such a crazy journey and I am learning so much day to day about feeling my feelings and what grief looks like, how to leave space for grief in my life. And I'm also learning how to put on my work hat during the day when the boys are at daycare and when Chris and I really need to dial it in and make some really hard, important decisions. So it's kind of logic and feelings depending on the moment. It's like I can make a big decision during the day and be really clear-headed and then I'll be making pizza dough and I'll just start bawling. And it's shown me that grief can look all sorts of ways. You know, it's really easy to look from the outside in at someone's life and say, you know, wow, they look so strong. They're just doing so great. And 
maybe that's how it looks from the outside sometimes when you look at us or when we look at others going through difficulties. But I've realized that saying that, although well-intended, isn't super helpful because it just perpetuates the idea that being strong and getting through is what we're all supposed to do. But the truth is, being strong looks like tears. It looks like being vulnerable about how you're really doing. It looks like crying into the pizza dough when you need to cry into the pizza dough. (laughs) And strength just looks different than I thought it did. And this has shown me that I need to leave space for grief. And I, I need to let it look how it needs to look day to day. And when it hits, sometimes I have to ride the wave And just go with it and let myself be there. And I think I just wanted to share that for anybody out there who's listening that may be going through a crisis, a trauma, a loss. I mean, in some sense, we all are because COVID has affected all of us differently, but it's affected all of us. I think it can be really tempting as Christians sometimes to just slap a verse on our pain, slap a verse on our grief and just soldier through. But I just don't really feel like that's at all what Jesus invites us into. You know, the process of our pain and being in our grief and feeling our loss is so essential. Um, It's the only way through. And I just want you to know, you don't need my permission, but this is me giving myself and you permission to let grief look like it needs to look for you and to honor it when it shows up. My friend Jenny told me, you know, (laughs) it takes the same amount of energy to push down our feelings as it does to live in and process and deal with our feelings. So we might as well try and show up and deal with those feelings. It's just been so crazy because the day the flood happened, Chris and I flew home from doing a TED talk and I shared all about you got this you got this is not having it all together it's showing up when you don't little did i know that i would face probably one of the most traumatic moments as a family we've ever faced and had to really look at that message and go wow what is showing up look like right now what is what is this how does this play out (laughs) and it's giving what i have to give and nothing more and nothing less, and sharing that process with you all. So thanks for all your prayers. Um, Thanks for your support on our GoFundMe. We've decided to elevate our house uh, so that we can move back in and that we can sleep at night when we do move back in. So that's gonna be about $60,000, which is really intense cost. But in the long run, I feel like it's the best move. Um, But we do not have $60,000 to elevate our house. So if you feel like supporting us in that way, um, you can click the link. I'll put it in the show notes for the podcast. And we're just so grateful for the prayers, for the meals, for the messages, for the hugs, for the money, for all of it. It's really shown us that, you know, in the middle of trauma, I don't even know what I need, but many of you have just shown up anyway. Endless texts and DMs from people. How can I help you right now? And then when I don't have the energy to respond, people have just showed up anyway in some form or fashion. And I'm just realizing that that's what makes a difference. That's what gets us all through. And I've also seen a consistent pattern that the people that have shown up in our life are the people that have lived through their own traumas and people showed up for them. And you know what's interesting to me? In kingdom currency, our gifts, there's no better or no worse gift. There's no more valuable or less valuable gift. The gift of my friend to call me and talk through these moments and be present to me and my pain is a gift to me. And she gives me that gift because she's lived through her own pain. We can all be gifts to each other and these hard things that happen to us become ways of us being a gift when something hard happens to someone we love or even someone we don't know. And here's the thing, being a friend is costly. You know, when it talks about in John that we're a friend of God, that we're Jesus' friend, 
That means showing up even when it costs you a lot, even when it takes sacrifice. Because let's be honest, bringing a meal to a friend is going to inconvenience your day a little bit, right? But, (laughs) man, it makes such a difference on the other end. So I want to be that friend. Chris and I want to be that family that even when it's costly and even when it takes a bit of sacrifice and juggling, that we make space to show up in other people's lives like people have shown up in ours. Because everyone's busy, right? We all have our to-do list that we're trying to check off. But what good is it to check off our to-do list but have no margin and no space to give to others or be present to others? When crisis hits, drop what you're doing and show up in some way. That's what we're definitely going to try and do. So anyway, a few thoughts from where we're at and a big, huge thank you from us to you. And we're going to keep showing up as best we can in this really chaotic and hard season. Um, And I just wanted to show up right now and give you a glimpse into where we're at. Love you, friends. Thanks for listening in today, friends. And I just wanted to let you know that we have started a Patreon uh, a little while ago. Yeah. And you can go to www.patreon.com forward slash love and the outcome to check <laughs> out what we have in store there. There's some special things that are only for Patreon members. There are two different price tiers that you can join up. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just stay in touch with what we're doing. Yeah. I think you just put up a song from your old band. I, yes. Or you're about to. Yes. Stuff like that, that we're not really sharing elsewhere. It's kind of a behind the scenes exclusive access to Love and the Outcome. So meet us there. Like always, if this episode spoke to you, share it with someone who needs this in their life. Rate, review, subscribe, and check out Healing Hugs because... They're just incredible, especially coming up to Mother's Day. They're doing a really special um, plug to help mothers that pray and care for their kids just like we do in America, but just are also dealing with poverty and um, illnesses and so many things. So let's support mothers in poor countries this Mother's Day through Healing Hugs. Check out the link.